Hi, this is Clinton at the Best Buy blog, and today I am going to have a look at a very intriguing digital audio interface from Shure, the MVX2U. It's an XLR digital audio interface, and it's this big. In this review, I'll briefly overview what it does. It's actually much more powerful than it looks. It's a short video this time <laughs> because it's so small. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Read my blog article, which will be in the link in the description. And you can also subscribe to the Best Buy channel for more product reviews from all kinds of things that are available at Best Buy. The MVX2U is a single channel XLR digital audio interface that's connectable via USB-C. It's made for simple podcasting, audio narration, live streaming purposes, but don't be deceived by its size. There's a lot going on in this little unit. The MVX2U has an auto level feature for measuring your, your input levels. It has phantom power for condenser microphones. It has EQ curves that are selectable, and it also has a compressor limiter function. And there's actually more. All of this is managed via the Shure Motiv, M-O-T-I-V app, which you would put on your computer, your iPhone, or your iPad or other tablet or Android device. I'm going to plug this into my Shure SM7 dB microphone. Then we're going to just have a look at the Motive app and what it does. A quick video just to show how the Shure Plus Motive app is indeed the best way to manage your MVX2U digital audio interface. It's so small that all the th controls are managed via this app. I'm selecting the auto level column, which is always adjusting my gain to be at the right volume. And from there, I have lots of different parameters, near and far microphones. So I'm near, I'm right on top of the microphone, but I could choose far and it will adjust the volume somewhat accordingly, probably make it louder. And then uh, there are different tones. So I have my natural tone set right now, but I could have a darker tone or a brighter tone. And the gain, which is the uh, amount that it's going to add, I could have quieter, or I could go louder. And then you would control your phantom power. So, for example, with the SM7 dB microphone, the phantom power would power the preamp, or another condenser microphone would need phantom power. I can mute the mic real quickly. And I can also manage the monitoring. There is a headphone jack in the bottom of the interface and I can plug my headphones right into there to get direct monitoring as well. So everything is right there. It's just that it, um, you have to go into the app to, to access it. You can also do all of these things manually. There's a huge change in sound at this point, so I probably have to boost my gain a little bit. And once again, mixing, equalizer, choose exactly which frequencies. You can really get detailed with the control of the interface. It's just that it's nothing, it's so portable that it's not actually on the interface itself. So whatever you do, you will use the uh, Sure Plus Motive app, which is available for desktop, for telephone, and for iPad on Android and OS devices. So that's it. That's, that's all that we have in this MVX2U. It's amazing. It's so small. Like, it fits just in your pocket. <laughs> XLR connection, USB-C connection, headphone monitoring, controllable via the SurePlus Motive app, which has all kinds of features, compression, limiter, EQ, auto level for the gain, and phantom power. The only thing I have to say about this as a negative is that if you are doing multiple microphones, it, it might start to get a little bit expensive. So that's where you would sh maybe shift to a more traditional digital audio interface. But for portability and ease of use for simple one channel productions for podcasting and narration, live streaming, YouTube, etc. Very cool. So simple, easy to use, sounds good. Get it. Thanks for watching the video. Hit like and subscribe for more product reviews from Best Buy. Read my full review in the blog article in the description below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.